Hi, my name is Patrick Desjardins. In this video, you will learn step-by-step -step how to install NPM to acquire TypeScript. The first thing we need is Node.js to get NPM. NPM letters means Node Package Manager. Hence, we need Node to get the package manager that has TypeScript. While we are downloading Node, let's learn about Node quickly. To download Node.js, we need to visit the following websites http nodejs.org slash en slash download and download the version for your operating system. Once downloaded, follow the installation. Ensure to restart your terminal to have node in your system path. The system's path is where all your application needs to add their location to be allowed to be found when typing their name of the application. So while you are downloading and installing, let's see what Node.js npm and typescript have in common node is a javascript application that can execute javascript on a machine without having to rely on a browser the goal is to run in a terminal javascript you can have a complete web server written in javascript and run with node we are using node with typescript if you want your typescript code to be transpiled into javascript and run on a server if you want to run your TypeScript code in a web browser, then Node is not required, but its package management is the door to get packages. One of the packages is TypeScript. The next step is to add a file at the root folder of your project. The file will contain all packages required for your application to run. The reason is that if another developer fetches your project, the developer will be able to download all packages you deem needed. Without the package file named package.json, the next developer will need to install one by one every package that you would list somewhere else. It would be inefficient. To get started, let's create a new package file with npm init command. Many questions prompt in the console. For the purpose of installing TypeScripts only, let's hit enter for everything to use the default value. Then type npm install dash dash save dev space TypeScript in your terminal at the root of your project. The command invokes npm to install the library name TypeScript and save it to the development tool list. Packages have two library lists. One is with dash dash save for module use in the execution of your application and dash dash save dash dev for the development tool. It is not critical if everything is in a single list, but it tidy up and can help to reduce the packages you deliver in the future. One small detail, it is possible to install a package globally. It is useful for modules that are executable. For example, if you plan to use TypeScripts in many places, you can install TypeScripts using npm install g TypeScript. It will install the latest version globally. Even though you can install globally, you must add it to each of your projects. Otherwise, other developers won't know how to install TypeScript. At this moment, your computer has Node, npm, and TypeScript. We can verify that TypeScript is present by using the console in the project folder and execute tsc-v to get the version installed. We can see the number on the console. If we look at the package.json, we can see the same version. If you want another version of a package, you can specify the version of the module with the sign at after the package name. For example, we can install TypeScript version 3.0 using npm install save dev TypeScript at 3.0. The packages are installed in the node modules of your project. The good practice is to always remove the folder of your source control to avoid having too many files in the repository. The node module has more than TypeScript. It also has all the dependencies of TypeScript. If we delete the folder, we can install TypeScript at the version defined in the package.json using npm space install. We can see the folder created again. It is possible to update automatically in respect of the package version with the command npm update and to see outdated package with npm outdate, but this will be for another time. 
So here we are again. We are at a fork where you need to make a decision. Are you going to go left? Are you going to go right? Remember that any path is a good path since it is your path. Would you like to get more understanding about the versioning of NPM packages or learn about NVM to have many node and NPM packages versions? Regardless of your choice, it was the right one because it was your choice. See you soon.